Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. Today I want to show you how to take apart a flat screen TV. A um, lot different than the old tube type of TV. There's a lot less copper in one of these, but there is gold and there are other um, metals. So there's still a lot of goodies inside. Um, so I'm going to take it apart for you, show you where those goodies are. I've already checked, uh, unfortunately when I picked this up on the side of the road, there was a crack in the screen and there was a sign on it that actually says doesn't work. Um, so it doesn't work. Um, so here we go. Okay, the first thing, uh, I've already removed the plastic uh, or the screws. Um, there are a lot of them. Okay, so for the sake of time, uh, I've already taken those out. As you can see, there's a lot of teeny tiny screws. It might be kind of hard to see on a black magnet, but uh, I've taken those out already. Okay, so the first thing, this is a plastic frame. Unfortunately, I can't do anything but uh, throw this in the garbage. Okay, the frame actually had a small little uh, circuit board, okay, and um, this would be a lower grade board. There's not uh, much on here other than uh, a little light. Uh, I've already cut the cord uh, to get at it, okay, but that would be a lower grade um, circuit board. Okay. On the back, I've already removed most of the screws. Okay, so there is a stand um, that comes with this, and all I'm going to do is just pull out the last two screws that support that stand. There's the, the stand, and some people will actually sell parts uh, on eBay. Um, it, it would be better than going in the landfill, okay? Um, I might actually just return the frame uh, and the, the glass and things to a drop-off facility uh, that uh, take uh, electronics, just because it's better that there's probably stuff in there they can still recycle. Uh, it's better than going in the landfill, okay? so. The stand and, and the shell uh, and the, the guts inside that I'm going to show you in a second, I will take back. Okay. Um, the shell, I have to take it out, has a couple speakers inside. I'm going to cut the cord here. Okay, uh, there are two sit speakers here, uh, one on both sides, and what I can do, all they're, they're just fastened in with screws, so I will take those out, okay, but this frame, um, can't do anything else other than that with this, um, either bring it back or go to the garbage. So, the back of the TV looks like this. There is a really nice long um, circuit board right here. Okay, and there is another circuit board right here that has some stuff in it, so I'm going to take it apart. I can notice already there is some metal in the back, okay, so there is some steel, okay, so there's a couple bolts in here that I need to take out. And there is also a couple pieces of tape that secure this in. So uh, in order to get this circuit board, I'm going to have to cut the tape. What I have is a really nice circuit board. And if you look, right on the bottom, it's a gold color, and that's because this is gold. Um, there's a little bit of gold 
A lot of people will take these and they will um, hit it with chemicals and break it down to get the uh, to extract the gold. Okay, there is gold recovery in a circuit board like this. It is messy with the chemicals, um, so I don't recommend you do it unless you know how. If I take this into a scrapyard, this would be higher grade circuit board. So this would be the best type of circuit board that I would get uh, a top dollar for because it has the gold in it. Now, the other thing, some people will take this out uh, just for the circuit board and they will not take these little flaps. These little flaps actually have gold in them as well. Very fine, but there is still gold in those as well, okay? so. Make sure if you are taking this back, it doesn't weigh a lot, this little paper, but if you are trying to extract the gold, then uh, obviously every little bit counts. So this is a higher grade board. The next board I have to take out with a couple screws. It's just bolted in the back. Okay, so these hold in the, the circuit board, they're steel, so this will go in my steel bin. There are a couple cords, oh, there's, sorry, the last screw I have to get. Make sure you get all the screws. Now, this circuit board would be classified as a lower grade board. The rule is uh, usually green on green. Okay, so green back, green front. Um, there are a couple little things on here. There is a um, little copper spool there. There is a transformer. There is a right there silver oscillator. Okay, so there is a little bit of gold, uh, silver in that. So I will take that off. Um, I also, you can take this in as is, uh, and you'd get um, lower grade board weight. Uh, I like to actually take off the little pieces of copper uh, and the silver. Um, and uh, transformers, sometimes I will take them off if, they're, if I'm looking and there's a big spool of, of copper. Sometimes I'll leave it on there um, just to add weight. Okay, So I'm just going to take the copper piece off. Very simple. I just take a, a, a pry bar. Okay, I just stick it under and just pry it up. Okay, so in order to get at the copper, all I need to do is I'm going to just take a hammer and I'm just going to hit the side and it will come out. Okay, so I want to crush the plastic. Take my gloves off to do this. Um, and all I do is I just unravel it. Okay, so it comes off, and it's it's very fine um, wire. Okay, it's long. Okay, so it might take you a couple seconds to do. And you know, someone might be looking at this saying, "Well, is it really, really worth the time?" I say yes because for me, actually, this is kind of therapeutic. Um, I like to get all the natural resources that I can, um, little waste as possible to go into the landfill. All right, and what I end up doing with this is I just put it actually in a bag. Uh, I've got a bag for my copper wire and uh, over time it builds up, okay? So, a little spool here. Okay, and again, it, it's not very heavy. However, this bag, it goes in there and it's just the copper spools from different uh, little motors and different gadgets like this. This bag is actually 10 pounds. Okay, so 10 pounds, even if this was number two wire, let's say it's a uh, $1.50, okay? So $15 right here. So it adds up. Okay, so again, I have another um, low grade board. Put my glove back on in a second. This uh, goes to the circuit board, and this is just a, you can see, a, it's actually a, a set of wires. 
on the tips, these are actually silver, silver tips. So what I do is I just cut this piece off. I will put it in my silver bin uh, with, along with my silver contacts. Uh, unfortunately, I'm looking at the circuit board. There are no silver contacts on there, but there is the silver oscillator. So all of that goes into a little uh, container. There's my little container of uh, oscillators and uh, silver contacts. And one day, hopefully, I'll hit it with some nitric acid and get a silver bouillon. Okay, so that wire is good. Uh, the rest of that wire, actually, I would just throw into uh, my low-grade insulated wire. Okay. Now, because I've taken off the screws, there is a plastic mirror, okay, uh, or, um, yeah, I guess this would be the, the viewing screen, okay, it's just plastic, um, it has a back to it, and the back does have a couple screws that I have not removed, there's one, Paper, plastic, uh, actually, sorry, a piece of plastic. It's kind of trans, uh, transparent there. Looks like an acetate piece of paper for all my teacher friends. Another. Piece of higher grade uh, plastic. You have a bunch of light bulbs in here that has I'm just going to rip this right out. This would go, unfortunately, in my garbage. Okay. And this is your steel shell. Okay, this would just go into my steel bin. Okay, so that's actually the guts, and most of this is, I'm actually very surprised, is recyclable. Uh, a lot of, like I said, resources I can keep away from the landfill. Um, I will take this screen back and put it at the, the depot. Uh, if you notice, there are still a couple little uh, pieces right here that have the gold on it, so I would just rip that off. And it just, it comes off if I just peeled it. Okay, it's just taped on. Okay, so that would go in um, my gold recovery. Okay, so just again, to recap, really nice higher grade gold um, uh, circuit board, a low grade board. I have some steel. I also have my cord that uh, plugs into the wall. Okay, this goes for a dollar a pound. This isn't a, a pound, it's close, okay, but it also has uh, two coated brass prongs on it. I can leave those on there uh, to add to the weight of this coil, or I can break these off and put these into my coated brass bin. Some people leave them on, some people don't. I take them off, okay, so I have my cord as well. And the nice thing is, with that TV, there's just a little bit of waste here. The stand, I am gonna bring it back. Um, and hopefully someone can use it. And again, I had the speakers inside of the back frame as well. So all in all, recap, there's, there's, there's some goodies in here. Again, it's not like a uh, bigger TV that had the uh, yoke of copper, but this one has gold. Okay, I hope this uh, video was informative. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Tin Man out.